Are you someone who has decided that it would be a good idea to solo instead of playing with actual people? Well, here is all you need to know on how to beat Act 2 with no special towers. And this time, you won't use Warden, like come on guys, shut the f- Act 2 is pretty easy with Golden Towers, especially Golden Pyro and Soldier. But of course, not everyone has it. But if you don't have the coins to get them, then what the hell are you supposed to take? First off, you will need these towers. Once you get them all equipped, start moving towards the event. Unfortunately, the first obstacle you need to face is getting into the match in time. A few moments later. Oh, oh yes! Oh, thank you! No. I highly recommend that you lower the quality to the lowest since it affects how fast you load into the map. However, it isn't reliable as it only works sometimes. If you do manage to come in in time, then you should place your ace pilot in this spot at the front setting the targeting to strongest and upgrading it to level 2. Once the wave is over, set the ace pilot targeting back to first and then get another ace pilot and upgrade to level 1. Next, start getting some level 0 soldiers. I would do it in this order for a total of 3. And please place them Bruh. close together, you idiot! Then, get two of these soldiers to level 2, upgrade level 1 ace to level 2, and then upgrade the last soldier to level 2. After that, you just need to place two more level 2 soldiers for a total of 5. After that, place level 2 ace pilot at this spot and spam level 2 ace pilot until you reach the placement limit. Until this point, you shouldn't have lost any lives and if you did, you pretty much lose. <laughs> the last few things you need to do after that is to get a level 2 minigunner at the front, upgrade ace pilot at the back to level 3, and then upgrade ace pilots at the front to level 3. There may be a chance that you leak a witch, which is fine. Congrats, you survived the first 10 waves. Once the terrain is finally finished, quickly place a level 3 DJ in this spot and place two level 5 ace pilots. Then get a level 2 commander in this spot and use quarter arms when it goes off cooldown. Afterwards, start upgrading a minigun into level 4 and it is important that you place it here. At some point, it will get a bit close, but don't let that deter you. When you got a max mini, get two more level 2 commanders and start chaining quarter arms. Next, get another mini and upgrade it to level 3. Max your DJ boob after and max the second mini gunner. At this point, this is what your tower placement should look like. Place and upgrade ace pliers to max level 1 by 1 in this circle, and then max a commander and spam level 4 mini gunners. Once all enemies are dead except Jack, sell your ace pilots and place max minis at this section. I am invincible! Invincible! You are well, the first 14 waves are kind of a bit painful, but once you get past that, the act becomes a joke. I wonder how Act 3 can be solo- oh wait, it's delayed.